Hello students, it's time for another gizmo. So this one's already added to your class, but you can also find it by searching for it. And if we click on find gizmo, if we type in the word potential, we get this one here, potential energy on shelves. And we wanna click to launch this gizmo. And as always, when we're going through any of the gizmos, you wanna make sure that you go and get a student exploration sheet, there's a PDF, there's an MS Word, and a Google Doc has already been provided for you. But nonetheless, you can always click on this. And here is your instructions on what to do and where to record your answers and your data. Actually, I'm not going to make that one as big. Um, so for this particular gizmo, I know it's a little bit smaller um, than usual. It's very straightforward. We just have three objects, ball, paper clips, um, and a paper. And this is just the key so that you know which is which. And what you do is you can move them from shelf to shelf. When you do that, you start to change the data in your table over here, right? If I pick up the ball and then I drop it, you can see it shows how much it moved on the x-axis, this one down here, uh, what the height is at the end, and then the potential energy for gravitational potential energy in joules. And what you can do is you can take these and you can put them on different shelves. You can take it off the shelf and drop it. And you're basically just changing the position of these three objects. Um, if you're done with this, you can hit clear and then you can start over again. And then feel free to move them around wherever you need to make them go. Also when you do that, the other option that you have is this bar chart over here. And when you do that and you move things, you can see that it changes the position on the bar graph as well. Uh, you can also change the scale of the bar graph by making this zoom out or zoom in. And you can also put the numerical values on there to help you with filling out your student exploration sheet. So very straightforward to do. You're just moving these objects to different positions and recording the data when you do that. And I will see you in class.